Today we are going to pull the Nginx image from Docker Hub and try it out. Are you ready? Let's go! Docker Hub has um, lots of softwares for you to try out and with Docker you can try out them in minutes so it is a lot of fun here. So today let's try out Nginx. So first, let's go to hub.docker.com. From there, you can press Explore. Here, you can browse around and search for the uh, softwares you'd like to try out. So in the search bar here, let's type in engine X, which is what we want to try out today. And first one is this. Okay, here there are th three tabs, description, reviews, and text. If you read through the description, it's going to show you what this image is about and how you're going to use the image. And if you press the text tab, it is going to show you what uh, image version it is available for you to download and try out. So let's pick the latest version. Okay, let's go back to our machine. So if you follow the tutorial last time, you would have already created a VM and you would have already installed uh, Docker and Docker Compose. Uh, remember that uh, we have created a user for that, so we have to log into that user. For me, it is apps. So we have already logged in and we can download the image now. So we'll type Docker pull and then the in, uh, the image name engine x and then colon after the colon we'll type in the tag name so it would be latest now it's pulling the image from docker hub okay it's done let's list it so we type docker images so it's telling us that we have two different images. We have Nginx and we have a Hello World. The Hello World is the image from the last tutorial. So don't worry about that. Now we, are, we have the image and we're ready to run Nginx now. Uh, for this demo, I've already created some HTML. So if I list here, you can see I've created a directory called HTML. And if we go into the directory, I have one HTML file. It is index.html. It is very simple. It just prints Hello World. Okay, so let's go back to the root directory. And now let's run it. So we type docker, docker, run, minus, minus name. will give the container name. So let's call it my engine x and then minus v. The minus v means mount. So in the container, uh, it won't it won't see the files in your file system. So we have to mount the files from the file system to the container. So here we type in home and the HTML, which is the files we have already prepared, and then colon. And then inside the container, Nginx recognizes this path. It is user share Nginx HTML. And then we type in minus D. Minus D means daemon. So that if you uh, so that if you provide this minus D, uh, the container won't exit right away. It will keep running as a daemon. And then very important, we we'll need to map the port minus P. Because Nginx is listening to port 80, but it is just only inside the container. If we want to map the external port to in internal port, we have to provide this minus P flag. So we'll do like minus P and then the external port 80 and then map to internal port 80. 
And then lastly, we'll type in the image name engine x colon latest. Okay, it should be up and running. Let's check it. Docker ps. It is going to show you the running containers. Here we go. We have a container. Uh, the image is from Nginx latest. And then it is up and running. And the port is mapping 80 to 80. And the container name is my Nginx. So let's see if it works. So we'll go to Google Cloud Console. Here in the Google Cloud Console, let's go back to the VM instance tab and it shows you the VM you have, right? And we are using VM2 here and it has an external port already. So we copy it. We go to here and then we type in http colon dash slash slash and then the port. Here we go. So the Hello World is showing and our Nginx is up and running. Okay, now let me show you how to stop it. So in order for us to stop the container, we do like this. Docker stop my Nginx. Okay, so now let's type Docker PS again. Okay, nothing now. But I'm going to show you one more command, docker ps minus a. The difference is that uh, docker ps just show you the running container, but docker ps minus a show you the running as well as the exited container. We have stopped the, my nginx, that's why it's still showing here, but the status is exited. So if we want to remove it entirely, we can type docker rm my engine x. So if we type docker ps minus a, it's gone. Now, since our engine x is stopped, this page won't work anymore. Here we go. So once we've done, uh, we can choose to leave the Docker image for later use, or we can choose to remove it. Let's type Docker images again. So let's say if we want to remove the Nginx entirely, I don't want it anymore. I want to try some other software, right? So let's type Docker RMI Nginx. Here it is. It is now removed. So once we've finished, don't forget to stop the VM. It is very important. It's charging you money every second. So let's press here and then stop. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it. If you like it, please share it to your friend and please subscribe my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.